Okay, so this is um, episode 15. This is se second take, um, so that's why I've got to be here. Um, so I'm making a Windows Forms application. So, yep. So what a form is, it's basically a window. So here you can see we have a form. This is the window which will pop up when you click Start. Unlike the console application, this will stay open until it's crossed off. Um, so you can resize things like this um, just by dragging like this. So to add components onto the form you need to go and open the toolbox and in here you'll see various things. I just want to show you if you haven't got the toolbox here um, then you want to go view view toolbox or control W then X apparently and that should bring it up if you want to, if you click this pin, it should lock it in place. Now, this is only on the new Visual One, Visual Studio. At the top of Visual Studio, I think it is on number uh, on 2010 and below. There's a button here saying Show Toolbox, and then Toolbox should look pretty similar. So their icons actually have color. And for some reason, I've removed all the color, but I'm sure we can live with it. So this is the form, and I've just added something I don't like it. Um, so here's a button, if I click button and I can drag a button onto the form like so. Um, so if I click back on to the form you can see it says form 1 here. Click onto the button it says button 1 here. The objects are named by um, by the type then a number and then if that number's already taken it'll go to the next number. Um, when you're looking for certain things in the properties window you can see there's a button here saying A to Z. If I Turn, if I click on this one, this version gives you everything in categories. I don't like this version, I hate it to be honest. I'm glad they've added this alternative which is alphabetical because that way when you're looking for something you know what you can see and search for it alphabetically. So this is the properties for each of the components on the form. If I click on the form 1 it says this is now the form 1 selected. So the t text um, property of form 1 is what is displayed here. So I say my form, and that changes it up here. And then I can change the name of the form. This is for you to use um, as as a programmer. So name it something that's nice and short. Form one's kind of okay, I guess. Um, my form, I pretty much called it the same thing. You won't not allowed spaces in this though, so be aware of that. So here's button one. So let's say this displays information. So I'm going to change the text to display like that and then it puts this display now. And if I go up to top I'm going to rename this to give it a suitable name. You often want to shorten down components down to like uh, three letters like button like that, btn and then what its function is and display like that. So lowercase b and the set it's uh, camel caps that's what this um, way of typing it is called. So that means the first um, letter is lower, the rest are higher to signify a new word. So that's just how I do it, it's how a lot of people do it, it's just a neat way. So if I shrink the form here, some, and this is going to display, so I'm going to add a label. A label, actually I'm going to expand this, a label is just there to display text. So what I'm going to do is set up two other things. So I've control clicked that. You can also highlight objects like that. And there are also some neat alignment things. I think this is only in the new Visual Studio. But yeah, that's the display. So I'm going to make another button. And you can also just can hold control and drag a component to copy it, make a duplicate. So this is going to call it button read data and then I'm going to make a text box. Now a text box is used for um, generally getting an input from the user. Uh, a text box normally is only one line. You can change it by clicking this thing here and click multi-line and then it lets you drag multiple lines. But I'm just going to keep it on one line like so. So this shouldn't say display, it should say um, text read data. So now I've got read data. I'm going to read in the data from the text here and then I'm going to display it in the label. I'm going to call this label LBL info and then I'm going to call the text box 
txt info. So uh, to um, get activate an event for when something happens, you can click on the item. So let's say read data. So you just double click on the button and that'll get the event. There's a default event for each component. Uh, for a button, the default event by double clicking is um, the event for when it's clicked. So you will see this. It's uh, this is showing you the class of the form, and then in here you have a name. So it's private sub. Uh, so that means it can't be accessed from any other class. See so sub, and this is just the name of it, which they've titled. Um, you this sender as object means um, it's the object which calls it. Um, I'll get more into sender and this and this a bit later on. So the button this is just showing you what it is, what calls the event of this sub. And this is data which is associated with that. So you don't really need to know what that means yet. So in this what I'm going to do is say um I can make a global variable, so dim info as string. And that's made a global variable of info as type string. So now I'm going to say info is equal to text, which is what I've called a text box dot info. Now this won't work. It says it's not type string. Because what you want to do, you need to access the text property of that box. Now every time you want to access a property of something, if you click on it, all of these things here are properties of that object. So if you want to access anything, then you just look for the name on here, say oh it's text. So then you go back into your code, which is in another tab here, and then you just say dot text, and that will give you the property, um, like so. So that is called that. There's two other ways of uh, creating this um, sub other than just typing it out. The other way is, so let's say display, I can click on the, f uh, the lightning bolt here, and you can see all the events that are available which are associated with this button. So you could have mouse enter. So this will get called when the mouse enters the region of the button. But I'm just going to do a normal click. Uh, so just get here and double click it and it will create the sub. The other way of doing it is by clicking on this top thing here. You select the object, so button display and then you select the event like that and that will also create a sub with the handled event. Um, so then I'm going to say lbl dot lbl info dot text because accessing the text property of that label is equal to info. Okay so now I'm going to run it just by clicking this start button here like we've been doing in the past. So I'm going to put a uh, source here and then I'm going to say read data display data and you see the uh, tech, the label has changed to source. If I do um, hat, uh, read data, display data, it's now changed to hat. And yes, you can just do this all in once. <laughs>